Alright people, welcome back to more Vitamin Y. So, uh, there should be like a video that pops up right here uh, concerning the future of my channel. Uh, so, if you guys can go ahead, give that a click, go ahead and watch that. Come back to this video after that, but come go to that video, uh, watch the whole thing, or slash listen to the whole thing. And, um, tell me your guys' opinions and stuff, etc, etc. Because it's very important. Anyway, welcome back to more Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday, and that means, of course, we are using Yuba Lexis. So, yeah, Yuba Lexis, the deck that's had its ups and its downs. You know, if my opponent Fs me up with back row, then I get screwed hard. But, you know, I'm just worried about the state of this deck just because sometimes this deck doesn't work out so hot. You know, it, in comparison to a lot of the other decks on Vitamin Y, this deck takes a lot of setup to do its plays. And if it gets stopped in its plays, then it... It hurts even more, so you know, uh, you know, my hand right now is okay. I mean, actually, next turn, it's, I mean, it's not bad. Next turn, I can go into uh, Dora, I can go just go debris, summon you build, and guys, the queen's like both time make a Dora, but uh, besides that, Okay. Uh, looks like we're going against Watts, so this should be fun. Cause you guys already know how fun Watts are. What? Did you say absolutely not fun? Like, oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I can't activate spell trap the monster effect to the end phase of this turn. Uh, whatever. What draft is? Okay, yeah. Isn't it Pheasant the one that searches? Like, that's the scary one. Alright. One didn't even set me back row. Like, huh. Alright. I'll go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight. Another Armageddon Knight. Go ahead and send me Harris. And then Harris, go ahead and search me for Nefarious Archie Nefariousness. So now I uh I got some levels. Yeah. Well, if one of my Armageddon Knights happens to die, which may happen to die right now, depending on if he has honest or not. Is that permanent? Oh, it's permanent? Oh, it's permanent? <sighs> Didn't even know it was permanent. You should put like a token on that. Token on that. To symbolize. God. God. I didn't even know. I thought it was till the end of the turn. Ugh. Like a coin. Like, you know, just a little. You know? Whatever, that's not what I meant, but you know what I meant, like the little coin thing, like a counter. <sighs> Fine. Well, I could have handled this situation a lot better then. You know what, I'll be fair, I'll tap into it. I'll tap into it, I'll be fair. Uh, was that 800? Well, that's inconvenient. I messed up my plays. I would have totally did a totally different play if I'd known that he was still, if that was permanent. I thought it was till the end of the turn. It's kind of weird to have an equip card that gives you attack when it's not equipped. It kind of caught me off guard. Now, if it was on, if this was like, you know, Wydra Pro and Dev Pro, I would have so, clearly saw the 22. I would have just succeeded into King of Feral Limp, detached her from a masculine, and then ran him over, but. <sighs> it's fine. And now. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent as a result of a direct attack. Alright. Well, it has to be as a result of a direct attack. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <sighs> Think about just going message in a bottle. Yeah, yeah, just message in a bottle. Summon New Bell, summon Harris, summon Armageddon Knight. 
then I activate Galaxy Queen's Light. All ten. Really, you two, Tadora. I'm thinking about just keeping you Bell on the field. No, it may not be best to keep you Bell on the field, actually. Yeah. Go ahead. Did not know that thing was still remaining 32. That's inconvenient. Yep, I'm already losing. Oh, two, two, plus another thousand. Cause I forgot that's permanent. I see. I still forget. I still freaking forget. So he gains thirty-two. Yeah, this is not a good duel. I got it. Got it. Well, I mean, at least you get to see some cool u C plays, but it's pretty clear right now that I'm going to lose this duel, you know, as if he doesn't have other, you know, Watt monsters to hit me directly. Like, I don't like Watts. Like, they're a really dirty deck. Like, all they do is just, they don't want to duel you. They're, they're a Saki deck. They're a Saki deck. I definitely get that. They don't care what deck you're playing, you know. It doesn't matter if I'm playing Burning Abyss or Shadals or whatever, or U-Bell, like I'm playing now. They just care about going over my monsters and hating me directly, so definitely, definitely a dirty deck, but, uh, you know, I can't do anything about that. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon Galaxy Wizard, this is a fact, tribute him, go ahead and search me for a Galaxy Queen's Light, because, you know, I could go ahead and go, you know, Dora Effect, Detach you Bell, Debris, bring back you Bell. Uh, actually, he could actually just bring, he could actually, uh, Oh, I could actually have a different play. Oh, I mean, never mind. My effects are negated. Uh, yeah. I was thinking about doing with Wizard, but my effects are being negated, so I can't make it mate. Uh... So I guess go ahead and attack. Let's say, you got the Honest. Yeah, this is this is one of those situations where Felgram would be better than, uh... than Dora. I can't do much with Dora right now. You know, he doesn't give a shit whether I have Dora or not. That's the that's the funny thing. Anybody else would be facing down two Doras, you'd be like, "Damn, two Doras!" You know, that's one of the best things that that's one of the best plays that Ubox can do. You know, two Doras, like you know, what? What? You don't have anything else to attack me directly? Like, hello? Like, okay. Like, wow. I thought you would have some more monsters to hit me directly. I kind of start. You know, all you needed was one pheasant to. Summon Pheasant, poke me directly, search for another monster, and that would have been game, because I can't really stop you from summoning another Pheasant, you know, or the monster you search for and poking me. At the current moment. You know, if, if, uh, if the Breeze Dragon didn't negate the monster's effect, I probably could have done something, because I could have went, you know, the Breeze, bring back, um, uh, uh, Galaxy Wizard, Galaxy Wizard, make yourself eight, you know, Galaxy Queen's Light, copy that eight, go ahead and exceed the Felgram. But uh, in that situation, I couldn't, so. Alright. This hand's not terrible. It's 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 kind of bad, though. Like, I don't have any revival. Like, that's the problem with this hand. If I had some revival, this hand would be okay. But I don't, so. I was going to use my fat. I'll pitch you bell that I drew. Thank God I got, you know, Rota. And we'll go ahead and send Harris. I will get Harris effect. You get the monster's effect that you send, you do not get the monster's effect that you discard. Yeah, so keep that in mind. What? Why? Why do I have to pay a thousand life points? I don't understand. What what what's happening right now that makes me have to pay a thousand life points? Why? Rhoda? Rhoda? Have you never seen Rhoda before? There's nothing... 
I've read Rhoda plenty of times. I've played no other spell cards but Rhoda, so what are you talking about? There is no pay with that. Okay. <laughs> like, you just made this duel hella fucking awkward. I'm foolish. Send uh level eater. Yeah, I'll send level eater. So literally, if I draw a message in a bottle, I could go for a double double door right now. Literally, I could just go message in a bottle, summon, 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 summon arm again, and I uh, galaxy queen's light, make them all ten door door. Yeah, door door door. The explorer, just two doors. Awesome, but I don't got any revival. Like, that's the. This deck runs probably the highest amount of revival in any of the decks on Vime and Wine. I didn't get like a single one. Like just one, I would have been happy. <sighs> Alright, activating Instapasion. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm so confused right now. You activate Insta Fusion to pay a thousand, and where's your fusion monster? And how did how did she get on the field? How did she get on the field? I can send one monster, one monster. What? No, no. That's not how Instafusion works. You summon a fusion. Oh my god, monster that is level 1 through 5 from extra deck. Come on. Come on. I, you, you're not reading. You're not. Like, hello? <sighs> Ah, you know, Stu Dog has that freaking series where, you know, noobs play. I have that series every day. It's called Vime and Y. <laughs> like, okay, put that back in the deck and summon a fusion. Oh, God. <laughs> it says right, it's the first sentence. Special summon a level five or lower fusion monster from your extra deck. Come on. Come on. If Insta Fusion, literally, you paid a thousand life points to summon any level four lower monster from your deck, it would be banned. <laughs> like, <laughs> it would be banned. <laughs> like, oh my god, the plays you could do. Like, oh my god. That would increase the consistency out the butt. Like, fuck, fuck, sum fuck Summoner Monk, fuck any searcher card, like, bam. Like, what, Rhoda into the neb? No, I'm just gonna fucking insta fusion into the neb. Like, hello? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? I didn't open up that well anyway. You know, well, Dojo is. If he was playing him correctly, would have kicked the crap out of me, because I didn't even open up well enough to duel against Madoche, so. <sighs> wow. Alright, this hand is terrible. Lots of Galaxy Queen's Light, but no revival. And I drew freaking Terror. Like, I need to draw a revival. Go ahead. Go ahead, you went first. Go ahead. You're going first. Come on. You went first. Ice, ice, ice. <laughs> oh, thank you. Excuse me. Okay. I swear to God. Yeah, I want to see some scrub duels, some noob duels, right here. Oh, thank God, memory reverse. <sighs> you too. Thank God, memory reverse. After you're out of. I'm gonna go ahead and search Dark Griffer. And Dark Griffer is gonna go ahead and pitch me Terror to send you Bell. And then I'm gonna crash with this monster. Oh, wait, no, I'm stronger. I'm stronger. Because of his spell spell, affects both of us, so I'm stronger. Excuse me? I didn't know that. Oh, why are you making so much noise? I'm recording. I'm sorry. No! Come on! I'm sorry, Dad. No, I'm sorry. 
that. Go ahead and pitch Terra to Sandy Bell. So that's that situation is not bad, and I can just attack over this monster because I'm actually stronger. Battle phase. Go for attack. Because Dark Griffith is also away, so. 1500. So, thanks to your first file, I'm actually. Dark Griffith is actually 19. Like, oh damn! Look at this fucking Galaxy Queen slide out the ass. Like, yeah. Three. Fucking ridiculous. <sighs> Should I chain? You know what? I'm a chain. I'm a chain. I'm some you bell. So chain resolves backwards, you bell has the lowest attack now. Fact. He's probably gonna be like, oh what happened? Like Let me reverse. Summon you bell. Fit chain resolves backwards. Fissure would destroy you bell. I would get tear. Because Tyro, your bell's effect would be the last thing resolved in the chain. <sighs> okay. Okay. Fissure has resolved. I chained my limit reverse, which summon the bell. Chain resolves backwards. So the bell was the monster. Uh, with the lowest attack. When your bell is destroyed, I get to summon terror. So not okay, so not only do I get no. I don't know what WP means. I, I, I don't know. For some odd reason, my mind is... I see WP and you know, what, you know what the weird thing is? Which is kind of racist. But the first thing I... One of the first thing I thought when I, I saw WP was white power. <laughs> like, what does that have to do with the situation right now? Absolutely nothing. But white power, nonetheless. <laughs> white power, man. White power. White power. <laughs> um... Uh... You can't summon a monster in face up defense. It is either in attack position or set. God, uh... so I'm feeling that you want to use some kind of transformation jutsu art. But it either has to be in attack position or set. So I literally can't do anything until you correct that. Because that wasn't even a legal play. So you can't. No. No. You. No. No. You can't change the battle position of a monster summoned that turn. Come on. Come on. Do I have to throw the good book at you? The good book, the rule book. There you go. Oh, a revival card. Yes. <laughs> I could, I could Galaxy Queen's Lightning and Gart Griffin at level 11, but I don't got any XC that's 11. <laughs> so, I guess I'll go ahead and just have Dark Griffin go ahead and attack your uh, monster. Alright, it should be one in attack. While that card is banished, it's bound to get one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go ahead. Terry would wipe the field, but there's no monster on the field, so. Nor am I really planning on getting rid of that uh, ceiling card. It can kind of just sit there for a little while. I'm okay. <laughs> to tell you the truth. 
I need like I need to get something. I need to draw some monsters. Like that's what I need right now. You know what I would love to draw? All right, summon Goblin Burke. All right, equip him with Mage Power. All right, that's fine. It's a strong monster. Wow, that's not what I need to draw. I, well, I did say I need to draw some monsters. Not Ultimate Nightmare though. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, all I got is Ubel in this duel. <laughs> like hello. Do terror, do ultimate. No, just see Bell in this duel. In face. Bell effect. Shrey monster. Oh, just show you monster. And if you want to quit, go ahead. Go ahead. Seriously. Draw. Ferris Archery of Ferrisness. Cool. Poke. Poke for 15. What are you? Oh, uh, you're a beast. Uh, like, what the hell are you, Ferris Archery of Ferrisness? Are you a beast warrior? Are you a fiend? I don't know what you are. You're a beast. Alright. Uh. attack from the spell, spell. It's not beast, comma beast warrior or warrior. It's beast warrior or warrior. I'm just a beast. I'm a fucking beast. <laughs> That's what Neff says. <laughs> Game two hundred. The Yabel effect when he destroys is an option. Nope, not optional. Not optional. I have to destroy. So I will be killing my own Nefarious Archery and Nefarious Nest during the end phase, so. Think about just upgrading the Ultimate Nightmare, though. You need to gain. to gain 200 life points. I can't, I can't, like, literally, literally, you're in the state, an irreparable game state, so I literally can't do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't mean to be a fucking uh, strickler, but, come on. Like, uh, OCD, like, I can't, I can't do anything. Okay, Ashreen dying, I have no problem with that. Only during my end phase. If it was either player's end, if it was either player's end phase, terror be busted. Like literally, it would just be like wipe during your end phase, poke, wipe during your end phase, poke, wipe during your end phase. Like no, only during mine. Only during mine. All right, I'm gonna use enough effect. I'm going to go ahead and destroy special summon terror effect special summon terror draw message in a bottle well I don't have enough <laughs> right now all I have is Neff and Yubel so that sucks I could go for super chocolate fudge covered I could go for Dora I go for a lot of things I can end this duel, actually. Yeah. I can end this duel right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and end this duel. Let's go ahead and end this duel. I'm going to activate Call of the Hunted. I'm going to go ahead. Yeah. Do something ultimate. When removed from the field. So, this is Ubuxi. We're going to see some Ubuxi plays today.
Even though this video has just been crazy dealing with people. <laughs> the Macaw the Hunted you bell. I'm going to activate Gas the Queen's Light. All all my monsters are level 10. I'm gonna exit. Into Super Chocolate Fudge Cover. Effect. Destroy all of your spell and traps. So, those two. In which case, once I destroy your uh, spell or trap, I am released from the seal and Greffer will return. And uh, Greffer and Super Chocolate Fledge covered, and that would be enough attack for game. So, yep, you too. So, we Greffer attack and Super Chocolate Fledge covered attack. Huh. <laughs> Teaching people how to play Yu Gi Oh! one card at a time. Hello. But that's one of the reasons why this series is so enjoyable. It's one of the key uh, videos, I'm, I mean, series on my channel. Yep, and well, continue to remain it, you know. It wouldn't be the channel Ubo Mastery without Lam and Y, right? <laughs> so, like I said, go ahead and go to that video. Uh, the link will be in the description, and uh, it also popped up at the beginning of the video. It's probably the featured video right now on my channel. And uh, just listen to it all and give me your opinion of it. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Lam and Y. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Cosmic Bell. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.